And it sounds good. It does. <laughs> this is the Stephanie Miller Show. Yeah. Hi, and Stephanie is not here. She is upstairs. Is she awake? Do we know, Chris? Um, I haven't heard anything, so I don't know. Oh, well, good. So hopefully she's sleeping in. Uh, uh, quite possibly. I know. Or she maybe w- she's standing in line to get a vaccine somewhere. Well, no, she's, she's not she's doing that. She's barreling over somebody to get a vaccine. I know. Yes. Yesterday, she rode her bike from Manhattan Beach to Malibu and back. She posted that on Twitter. Oh, I, that's See, a long way. I never go on vacation with her. That's like 30 miles each way. Yeah, that's yeah. a long... Yeah. Not a vacation. No. No. Mm-mm. No, no, not at all. No, I mean, when I'm on vacation, I do walk <laughs> about the, like, like the cruise ship, because I've been on two cruises now, so uh-huh. I will walk there. Yeah. And then, and then, like, last time I left the state to go to another state was Hawaii, and, and I did walk about Honolulu, but not like she'll she would bike around the entire island yes of oahu yeah every day and and that's mm-hmm. a long drive when i was alone. Yeah. when we were at oahu we rented a jeep and drove around oahu that's the proper way to to go around oahu well yeah i mean years ago in the, in the early 90s when my mom still had a place on oahu my friend and i rented a motorcycle mm-hmm. and okay. that's harley ah. and they don't they don't require helmets there so we could actually let her hairs go free and we rode around the island. Just because you uh, don't have to wear a helmet doesn't mean that you shouldn't. You wear shouldn't. It. Right. We yeah. Okay. All right. It's a Harley. You cruise. <laughs> <laughs> With a I'm just sitting here thinking injury. about remember the good old days where we could go places. Yes, remember those days. Yeah. I'm. I'm. A friend of mine um, posted on Facebook the other day. She's thinking of sometime in late May or early June of having people over, and she wanted people's input. And I said. I will only have people over if they have their two shots or their Johnson and Johnson shots, whatever is available. I want proof of that. And it will still be outside (laughs) and it won't be more than maybe 10 or 15 people, but everybody has to be vaccinated or I don't want to see you, you know, and I cannot wait to, to be able to be in studio with you guys again Mm -hmm. when we're all vaccinated, Yeah, you know, hopefully June or July. Last week, you know, on the one year anniversary or or whatever of, of, of this whole thing, um, mm-hmm. People were posting the last normal picture they have in their phone. And my last mm-hmm. normal picture was a picture of Hal Sparks and me sitting dangerously close together right here in the studio. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it was a year ago today, I think, that or this week, that was the first time I had to do a FaceTime with you yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah. Because I was that there, out. I was there like the, the week before we shut down and then the week we did shut down and then the following week I was not. It was like I went one week where we were still kind of gathering and then it was like, nope, let's just do FaceTime. Yeah. Yeah. And then you guys were all still in studio, but we weren't coming in because you were in your own bubble. And then everybody, but Sean got diseased. <laughs> we, yes. Filthy and dirty disease. Sean and Krista are the only. Krista, that, Krista has dodged you and, the bullet. Yeah, you and, Sean and Krista are superhumans. They are. And um, yeah, we need to check their blood and use it. Well, uh, uh, all yeah. the more reason to get the Sean says shirt at the Steph store. at Steph I did. I got one. Yes. Did I bought one yesterday. Really? <laughs> We got the Sean says, and we've got a bunch of sake bomb shirts out That's there. That's right. Now. So go to the Steph store at stephaniebiller.com, and there's a whole bunch of new stuff in there, including one yeah, with Sean. I, as soon as I, as soon as you guys announced that yesterday, I went on and I got my Sean shirt. I should have it in the next couple of weeks. So I'm looking forward to yep. wearing Sean on my chest. <laughs> okay. He's going to love that. He, oh, he's, he's going to hate that. He, he does not like being <laughs> the center of attention at all. <laughs> I know, but yeah, that's what makes it even it. better. Yeah, I know that's even better. Um, so, tr- uh, one, one one thing I wanted to add on to you were talking about uh, vaccines a little bit earlier. One thing that I think could help us with vaccines is, and we announced yesterday. I got some more details yesterday afternoon. Uh, have you heard what Krispy Kreme is doing? Yes, I did. I think everybody should. McDonald's should start offering burgers. You know, so so what, we're going to trade Starbucks COVID coffee. for diabetes. But Krispy Kreme said it's good till the end of the year. Yes, yeah. every day for the rest every of the year if you're vaccinated. For the rest of the you year, get you free can donut. get a free glazed donut yeah. from Krispy Kreme with your vaccine ID card. I never wish the Krispy Kreme was open close to me more than I do right now. Uh, no kidding. Yeah. I mean, I think that if, if more companies like, say, Starbucks starts offering a free latte mm-hmm. for everybody that's vaccinated at least once, 
more people, because more people go probably to, there's more Starbucks than there are Krispy Kremes, mm -hmm. uh, slightly less toxic to your body than a Krispy Kreme donut can be. Um, and then well, McDonald's, if you have they a offer Krispy a free Kreme, hamburger. If you have a Krispy Kreme Maybe. every day, that that's a bit much. One is fine. Well, one, one month is one. fine. Just a little <laughs> jump start in the morning. Oh my God. Yeah, what? What? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I think that, I mean, people have been asking, should be, we offer people money to get vaccinated. And I do think that eventually, if airlines require vaccinations, which I think they should, or at least mm -hmm. airports, you can't get into the airport without a vaccination. That sounds or fair. say, you know, each airline says, you know, you're not getting on the plane without this proof done. You know, I mean, to do TSA pre, you have to have an FBI background mm -hmm. check. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, people go, oh, it's freedom. No, it's not. We have to have IDs. Well, we have to do a lot of things to get on an airplane already. Yeah. So why not add to that until it is to the point where this endemic disease, because this is going to be with us forever, like yeah. the flu, mm -hmm. and we're all going to get vaccinated once or twice a year for this from the foreseeable future. And until it's controlled like the flu, we need to require this. Uh, certainly international travel is going to require it. I guarantee it. Other yeah. countries will not let us into their country without a vaccination. Yeah. So, so, um, underneath um, uh, Krispy Kreme's announcement of that on, on Facebook, uh, some right-wing guy said, Krispy Kreme must be a, a left-wing communist company because they're discriminating against those who don't want to get the vaccine or can't get the vaccine. It's free. I know. I know. That's it's the, the thing. It's free is, market. I know. I know. Again. I know. It's, mm -hmm. it's free. People. It's free. It's free. Yeah. It's free. They can choose who to give free stuff to. Yeah, well, the, as right, much the, as the right wing are just whiners. That's all they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A bunch of I mean, big babies. Mm -hmm. if, if we get Chick fil A on board, I bet all of a sudden the right wingers would get vaccinated. They might. You know, you know what? They just might. I, get the Chick fil A and the Waffle House on board. I went, to, I went to high school in the South. I still love a Chick fil A. I, I've never had one, it's, mainly because I don't eat chicken. It's, it's, I've never had one either. It's delicious. It really is. <laughs> That's what I hear. I hear they're fantastic. And you know and what? when the, I ate chicken, what, I probably would have done and, that. And the local Los Angeles franchise gives judiciously to LGBT causes. So, good. You know, a quiet. They do it quietly, but they do give judiciously. So. Well, that's good. Yep. That's good. And um, we, uh, Travis, you said we have Michelangelo. Uh, yes, I Andrew? believe we do. We still have Michelangelo. Yeah, we still have Michelangelo. Hi, hey, Michelangelo. What's up? Good morning, folks. Or just good morning. say morning. Uh, I was just calling up. I heard Karen and everything. And uh, let me just give these points really quickly. What we need to do with gun control and legislation coming up and all, uh, I propose to uh, tell everybody, if you want to have a gun in this country, well, that's, your, you know, you have the Second Amendment. That's uh, your right. Um, but you know what you need to do? You need to get a lot of insurance if you want to own a, a firearm in this country. You need to have periodic training, like every three years you go to the range and show the state, uh, uh, you know, the state authorized instructor that says, okay, just like the driver guy that says, hey, you know, you passed your driving test. Mm -hmm. Okay, and... Um, the NRA would be very, very smart in saying, hey, we'll start a national insurance program for all those people that want insurance. You need to have that. You need to have periodic training. You need to have the uh, 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 education for mm -hmm. anybody that wants to learn about guns, even if they don't own them. Mm -hmm. What are they about? It, it's information. And I would say one thing right now, I'd love to do this. I just don't have the wherewithal to do it. I'd love to sue the NRA. For all of the uh, all of the deaths that they have helped promote, mm -hmm. I get the mm -hmm. magazine. You should read the lies that these people mm -hmm. put out. And uh, uh, I've been an NRA family member since before I was born. My grandfather was a hunter. He would never use uh, a firearm, a rifle, or anything else to go out and cre and 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 you know uh, do crime. Yeah. Neither would I. Right. Neither would the a vast majority of gun owners in this country who just are people that happen to have uh, firearms for whatever reason. And the first reason is self-defense. And you know what the first weapon that you use when you get into trouble is 911. Mm -hmm. I do want to say, I know the area up there, Table Mesa mm -hmm. and Drexel uh, Street was where I lived for many years. 
mm-hmm. two minutes away from that King Supers. My my yeah. daughter had friends that worked at that King Supers when they were in high school. A wonderful place, wonderful neighborhood. Uh, we have the Chappaqua Auditorium right up the street from there where so many wonderful people have played over the years and will play again when, sure. when it opens up. Yeah. So yeah. Um, uh, what we need to do is to get serious about this and to point the finger of blame at where it belongs. And that's yeah. the Republican Party, people that you know espouse that kind of rhetoric that you read in the American Rifleman magazine, which is all lies, that has to be bought down. And I don't mean, you know, to sit down at a table necessarily, put it in the newspapers. But what mm-hmm. they do, you guys are doing a wonderful job. So I thank you for what you're doing. Thank you, Karen, for bringing up the points that you did. She needed to do them. I would have bought them up had I gotten in there first, but she did a fantastic <laughs> job. Yeah. <you> know? <laughs> She, she well, called before you, you did Angela. in hour one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because everywhere that we are, there are people with guns. <clears throat> Some of them are good guys like me mm-hmm. and all of that. And mine are all locked up in a safe. And I don't take them right. out unless there's a real purpose for taking them out, like cleaning them every now and then. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Michelangelo. Thank we you, appreciate Michael that Angelo. call. Thank in you. fact, you know, it's easier in Georgia to get a gun than it is to vote. Sure. And, yeah. And that's, uh, in fact, Senator Warnock uh, said that uh, the other day with regards to the Atlanta shooting. Um, and- but it's it comes full circle. And it's, it's kind of like this merging of these two issues right now. It's like, you know, Republicans are attacking voting rights. Mm-hmm. They are trying to disenfranchise voters. They're, mm-hmm. it's, voter suppression is what it is, straight up. Mm-hmm. But they're but but they're promote but a gun, not a problem. No problem. Uh, let's well, I've long let's go with it. hate crimes laws uh, here in the state of Georgia. Uh, it took entirely too long to get one on the books here, uh, but thankfully we do have that law on the books uh, right now. In addition to that, we need reasonable gun reform in our country. Uh, this this uh, shooter was able to kill all of these folks the same day he purchased a firearm. Yeah, and you can't register to vote and vote the same day. Right. Right. But you can get a gun. And, and kill and, the same day. Kill someone and, on the same and day. moments later, within an hour, kill somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so there's no background check, obviously. Mm-hmm. There's no citizen check. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's 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 crazy. I mean, and and uh, he goes on about voting. Uh, but right now, what is our legislature doing? They're they're busy in the under the gold dome here in Georgia. Uh, trying to prevent people from being able to vote the same day they register. I, I think that suggests uh, a, a distortion in values. When you can buy a gun uh, and create this much carnage and violence on the same day, but if you want to exercise your right to vote as an American citizen, uh, the same legislature that should be focused on this is busy erecting barriers to that constitutional right. And then he, you know how the Republicans are with regard to the filibuster? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. They they're like, well, the minority needs to have a voice in yeah. the Senate. Well, they're literally preventing minorities from voting in Georgia. I know that folks are focused on the filibuster, but this language about the filibuster is language much too puny uh, as an appropriate frame to talk about something as vital and as precious as voting rights. We have to pass voting rights no matter what. And it's a contradiction to insist on minority rights in the Senate while refusing to stand up for minority rights in the society. And then he went on to say in talking about uh, John Lewis. Uh, As someone who served as uh, the pastor of uh, Congressman John Lewis, who literally laid his life on the line crossing a bridge uh, in order to secure that right for us, uh, I'm gonna do everything in my power to convince uh, my colleagues to support voting rights. It's the reason, it's the only reason why any one of us is in the Senate in the first place. Somebody voted for us. And right now, mm-hmm. in real time, we've got 250 yeah. voter suppression bills all across our country. We cannot allow this to happen. We have to secure our democracy. Yeah. And I'm assuming that this was already pre planned, but apparently, right now, there is a, um, a Senate hearing on gun violence taking place uh, yeah, live right at this now. very moment. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good, good. That's, so it was, probably, it was probably planned ahead, and it just happens to be that we have another one of these attacks. Um, in the well, country, in uh, I forget where I, I, it's, I have so many things over. You know, I well, one point I, 
Somebody Before said, we... though, regarding the yesterday's shooting, this isn't the time to talk about it. They always say that. Yeah. Mm. Well, we only had five days between the last shooting and this shooting. So when we can, can, let's talk about shooting then in regards to what happened in Atlanta, we'll, we'll let this Colorado sit to the side because we don't know the full details yet. And hopefully we're going to be getting some more of those this morning. Yep.